Now I want to show you how to prove equivalence between two Boolean functions using Boolean algebra. Um, so for example, suppose we are asked to prove that x anded with x naught or y is equal to xy. Okay, so um, the key is how, what actually constitutes a proof. So how do we go about um, proving this? So you might be tempted to fiddle with the left-hand side and the right-hand side until you get them to equal each other. Don't do that. The mathematicians are going to get angry if we do that. Um, instead, what we want to do is we want to start on one side of the equation, apply some theorems and postulates of Boolean algebra to make it look like the other side, and then we can state that we have equivalence. So um, let me show you how that works. So we're going to start with the left-hand side. I'm not going to even touch the right-hand side of this equation. The left-hand side is x and x naught or y. Okay, so this left-hand side, um, if I distribute this x to both the terms, this gives me x anded with x naught or x y. And I can put a justification here. I can say by distribution. And then this now is equal to um, this term here. Anytime we and something with its complement, that's just going to be 0. This thing stays here. So the difference between this line and this line, the theorem that I applied was, I could say, since um, x times x naught is equal to 0. This is one of the basic um, laws of Boolean algebra. Now, from here, I can say this is just equal to xy. And um, we know we're finished. We end when this looks like the right-hand side of what we wanted to prove, okay? So we're not going to touch the right-hand side. We're only going to fiddle with the left-hand side until it looks exactly like the right-hand side. And then if we're feeling fancy, we can say, therefore, um, you can also use this little symbol here. This three dots means therefore. Therefore, x times x naught or y is equal to xy. And then at the end of this, if you want, you can put a little box. That means your proof is complete. Or you can say something like QED. That's just kind of for fun. OK, so let me show you another example. So let's do a second proof. Suppose we have example 2. We're asked to prove that A or C ended with A, B, or C naught is equal to a, B, or A, C naught. Okay, so what do we do? We start with the left-hand side. I'm not even going to touch the right-hand side. So my left-hand side is A or C ended with A, B, or C naught. So this thing, um, if I FOIL it, this is going to give me A, A, B, or A, C naught or C, A, B, or C, C, not. Okay, and here I could put my justification by distribution, aka I just foiled it, like I learned in um, junior high algebra class. So then, um, what can I say? I have that, th I basically have two duplicates, right? So A ended with A. I'll be able to simplify that. And here I have C ended with C naught. So let me simplify this thing first. I can say that this thing here is just equal to A. So I'm going to rewrite this equation with just one A instead of both of these A's and it together. So this is AB or AC naught or CAB or CC naught. And my justification of this is I'm just going to say since a ended with A is just equal to A. Okay, great. Now I'm going to handle this thing here. Um, and anytime you and something with its complement, you're going to get 0. So if this thing is equivalent to 0, then my equation becomes AB or AC naught or CAB 
less zero, my justification is since C, C naught is equal to zero. That comes from another fundamental law of Boolean algebra. And um, now what can I do? Here I see that each one of these terms I have left has an A in it. So let me go ahead and factor out an A. This gives me B or C naught or C B. And here this is by distribution again. Distribution, um, AKA factoring. So I just factor down an A. And then within this parentheses here, this term has a B and this term has a B. So within here, I'm going to factor a B out. This is going to be B ended with o one or C and that's still ORed with C naught. Okay, great. Um, this is another factoring. This thing here, anytime you OR something with one, you're always gonna get one. So say, since one or C is equal to one, that I can replace with just a one. So we have A ended with B ended with one or C naught. So that means that A ended with B or C naught. And if I distribute this again, I get A, B, or um, A, C naught. Distribution. Here this justification is B ended with one is just equal to B. And now you'll see that I started with the left hand side of my equation. I applied all of these theorems to get this. And this now looks exactly like the right hand side of my equation. Looks like right hand side. Okay, so then I can say, therefore, A or C ended with AB or C naught is equal to AB or AC naught. And this constitutes a proof using Boolean algebra. So let me know if you have questions about um, doing these proofs. We can also prove using truth tables, which we'll do later in the module.